Hello, 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 my loves. So I was drawn today to do a love reading and see what the cards have to say. So the first thing, the card that got stuck in the deck was free yourself. It didn't come out easily. So to me, this is saying that there's likely something that's going on that you're really feeling tethered to and that you're really having a hard time releasing. So it's time to take control back of your life. And this could be something as far as um, it doesn't necessarily have to be leaving, but you have to uncage yourself from any type of situation that you find yourself in that you don't want to be in. You don't have to be in that position. I feel like it's time for you to find your power to speak up for what it is that you want and to not accept less than you deserve. So that's the first message that's coming out. Let's see what else we've got here. Get that on camera. Okay. What is the overall message about love right now? What is the overall message about love right now? That top card. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. If you are not in a position right now where you're feeling that passion for life, then it's time for you to find that again. And there's also deception. Someone is wearing a, a false self mask in this relationship, which could actually be you. So maybe you have something that you need to say and you're not saying it. That's actually wearing a false mask within the relationship as well. Deception doesn't necessarily have to be lying, cheating, stealing, but not speaking up can also absolutely be a deception within a relationship. Let your friends help you came out in the reverse. And this is saying this is a time to work on yourself, work with some type of a trusted professional, or to work on this relationship without getting your friends and family's opinions involved, because that can sometimes turn things pretty toxic. If we have people in our life that don't necessarily have the best tools for having the best relationships, they're probably not who we should be going to for advice. It kind of goes back to that do they have what I want. And if not, maybe that's not the best way. Or maybe we even think that it's pretty healthy, but it looks at it on the surface and they're, they're good, but maybe there's all kinds of things underneath the surface. And <laughs> it's not necessarily the healthiest. Also, while I was talking about that, I saw 222 on the timer. So to me, this is all about connection. So that's the overall love message. Where is the blind spot currently? Where is currently the blind spot? Children. So this is coming out in reverse. So to me, it's like, are you setting the best example for any children that are involved? Or the fact that it came out reverse means that one person might want children and the other one might not. Also could be that there's no children in the mix at this particular point in time. Maybe there's animals though, or something else around that could be impacted. So the blind spot could also be about the fact that maybe it's like, oh, we have to do this for the kids. Or we... The thing is, though, is a lot of times our relationships cause a whole lot of damage to the kids if they are not functional. So staying for the children is typically not the best avenue. And I know that that's hard, but realistically, it's not the healthiest thing for them to see. And not only that, if they see our dysfunctional relationship, they grow up thinking that that's normal for them. And maybe also could be stemming from our childhood. Maybe we saw our parents in some way and that's impacting our relationships because we are not, we don't really know what a healthy relationship looks like. And again, in this reading, I'm finding myself like not able to breathe. So it impacts the nervous system even and trying to figure out where to go or who to look to for an example could be difficult. And that also could be why the let your friends help you is reversed. What energy am I attracting? <laughs> Literally, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And for me, she's smelling the roses. So it's like, stop, take the time to smell the roses. Allow yourself to figure out who you are, what you want, what you need. That is what you, once you start there, you can attract that in. But if you don't know what you're going for, then that could definitely be a problem and you could maybe be attracting in the wrong things. What's a lesson that's already been learned? 
Oh, love yourself first coming out in the reverse. So that to me is saying that you've likely focused on other people and their needs and yours have gone unmet. And this is where your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. And you actually, the more you love yourself, the more you attract in those healthy relationships. So find a way to love yourself more. And for me, what I had to do was start by um, writing one thing I loved about myself every single day. I'll tell you, when I started this journey, I got to like day two or three and was like, wow, I can't come up with anything else. I didn't even know who I was because I had lost myself within these relationships. So that could definitely be a message that I'm sharing for a reason for you. Current relationship energy, this could be the one reversed. So this is saying to me that there's definitely potentially some issues and maybe this isn't the person that you're meant to spend your time with. Maybe you're meant to focus on yourself and attract in something that you actually want. Again, this is so a general reading, so this isn't going to resonate for everyone. Take only the parts that are meant for you. What am I supposed to learn from this? Calling in your soulmate came out also in the reverse. So what are you supposed to learn from this? That you have to break these karmic patterns and ties to be able to have a loving, healthy relationship. And there's likely something from the past that has shown you the wrong way that relationships should work. It's not the healthiest way to do this. How can the current issues be resolved? Trust. And it says this situation is calling for you to have trust. However, what I'm picking up is you need to trust the divine. You need to trust the process. You need to trust where it is that you're at. You need to trust in the fact that there are definitely avenues that you can go to get the answers that it is that you need to work on yourself, to find the health and love and worthiness within yourself to have the best kind of connections. And these also could be that, you know, maybe you have called in your soulmate and maybe this person could be the one, but because of all the issues that are going on, it's not possible for this to come together in a successful way at this point in time. Maybe you're in the relationship with somebody, but you're feeling disconnected and just unhealthy and like, ugh, there's some issues here. And that's often what we need to work through within ourselves to make things better. What can I change? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So to me, it's like the more you engage with yourself, the more you engage with self-love, the more you engage in healthy behaviors, that's how your relationships ascend. But if you're feeling kind of stuck right now, it's time to step back, focus on yourself, Love yourself more because it's really almost impossible for us to give somebody else love if we don't have that love within ourselves. What's next in my life? Playfulness. Allow yourself to play. Allow yourself to find the things that you love. And that was my thing. When I couldn't come up with anything about myself that I had loved, I really had to think long and hard about like, who am I? What do I love to do? What do I enjoy? Find those things again and allow that spark to ignite. What else is next in the love life? Could be a wedding. It's like the more you speak up for yourself, the more you do the work, the more you get yourself out of the cages that you had been put into, whether it be from your childhood programming, whether it be from learned behaviors within relationships, no matter what this is, it's like you have the ability to take yourself to another level, which is going to bring all your relationships to another level, which is absolutely beautiful. So the overall message for me is to find what it is that you love. Speak up for yourself. Do what you need to for you without having to worry about this other person for a while. And as you change yourself, everything around you is going to change. So... That is what I have for you, my loves. I will see you soon. And thanks for being here.